Hello, today we're going to be talking about the different methods of actually building a wine cellar. The three most popular methods used right now are using an R13 insulation with 2x4 studs, the plastic vapor barrier behind it wrapped around the studs, fiberglass insulation will give you an R13 insulation which is the minimum required for a wine cellar. The next best is using the rigid foam board cut in. You still need to use the plastic vapor barrier. Two layers, inch and a half thick, is going to give you an R19 insulation. The advantages of these are that they're a little less expensive. The disadvantage is if you've got wiring or conduit or any type of piping that goes through, You've either got to try and wrap it around those or cut the insulation and put it around it and then fill the gaps with foam. The last way is using the spray-in foam. Uh, I'm not too good at this, so mine didn't come out that neat. When you get people that do it all the time, they can fill these cavities real good. A three-inch thick foam will again give you R19 insulation the advantage of this is when it skins over, it forms its own vapor barrier and it expands into all the cracks and crevices or again, if there's any wiring or conduit going through, it actually seals right around it so you've got no potential for vapor penetration anywhere in the wine cellar. So when you're looking at this, this is good, this is better, this is the best. Good night.